director Josh Jekyll describes the Algeas, which offers advanced alternative energy combinations and points to a time when plug-in hybrids can be powered by something other than just batteries and petroleum. So Josh, this is this is a brand name I've never seen before. This is right. unique. Yes, Algeus. How did correct. this name get chosen, and what that's what is that about? So we wa we wanted to play a little bit with the word Prius. Uh, everybody's familiar with the Prius, but we're breaking a new concept into the marketplace with this car. We wanted to break into the marketplace the concept that you could use algae fuel. I'm a big fan of plug-in electric hybrid vehicles or just plug-in electric vehicles, but we're going to continue to need liquid fuel as well. And when you look out into the future, corn and soybeans, very limited. Next generation biofuels have some potential, but we're gonna need a quantum leap to realistically supply our society. And that quantum leap is only gonna come from microorganisms, namely algae. So we wanted to begin to show people, okay, that technology's coming, it's almost here. It certainly was here with the advent of this vehicle. The Algeus was created as a way to say, well, wouldn't it be great if we could have the best of both worlds, have an advanced fuel grown in the desert using wastewater, and have a vehicle that you can plug in at night so that you don't have to use very much fuel. Because America uses 200 billion gallons of fuel a year. What if we could reduce that using efficient technology like plug-in hybrids down to a more manageable size, say 40 to 50 billion gallons. And those gallons didn't come from oil, which is a very precious commodity for plastics and things, but they came from sources like algae. And so that's how we came up with the algae. It's really a combination of two great ideas, algae fuel and a plug-in electric hybrid. So is this algae ethanol? It's not algae ethanol. This is algae gasoline. Okay. So uh, we work with Sapphire Energy, who's the company that supplies the fuel and supplied the fuel for our cross-country trip that we did in the car. And we distinguish the fuel that we are using is not ethanol, it's not biodiesel. It is synthetic gasoline. So under a microscope, an electron microscope, you would see gasoline and you would see algae gasoline, you'd not be able to differentiate them. So it, it's, in, in essence, it is a biological source, but it is in some ways arguably not a biofuel.